So today we are going to see what is sales source, okay, and what is the use of sales source in business. Okay, so let me share my screen first. Let me know okay, if you're able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Hello. Yes. Yes, okay. we can see. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's see. Before Salesforce, how uh, you know companies were storing the data and maintaining the data. Okay. So before Salesforce, company used spreadsheet like this. This is Excel sheet, but spreadsheet is also similar to Excel sheet. Okay, to maintain their data. So let's say that all the users in the company need to view this particular spreadsheet. Okay, then what we can do, we can give access to the users. Let's say we have 10 users in our organization and all 10 users need access to this particular spreadsheet. Okay, so we can give access to the spreadsheet and all of the users now can have access and they can edit it okay they can go here they can modify any column or they can add new column over here but then what will happen if you are using a spreadsheet okay a lot of people are using a spreadsheet spreadsheet can go down slow okay and let's say that in this particular spreadsheet we have a column okay which is very sensitive okay and we do not want to show this particular column to all the users of our company okay only the uh, manager and team lead should have access to this particular column other users should not have access to this particular column okay meaning that we want to hide this column for a specific user. Can we do that in, in spreadsheet? Is it possible? No, it's not. Right. Okay. If we, can, if we want to hide it, okay, we can try to hide it, but then it will be hidden for all the users who have access to the spreadsheet. Okay, so we cannot hide it, hide any particular column, okay, for any specific user. Okay, so basically what happens is spreadsheet does not have basic fundamental feature in it, okay, uh, to hide some data, etc. So now let's say what is Salesforce. Now you have understood, right, earlier when companies were using spreadsheet, there were some challenges, okay? And now we can overcome these challenges using Salesforce. So what is Salesforce? Salesforce is a CRM platform tool which provides you different, different services, different type of services to the companies. Let me go here and open the Salesforce. Okay, now I am on the Salesforce organization, okay? Yeah. Amar Pali, we can see your screen. We are we can just see the Excel sheet. Are you on the uh, Salesforce org? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this is a sample data which comes from Salesforce itself, okay, in the uh, developer of us. Okay, so we have the data here. Now, Salesforce also have tabs just like spreadsheet. Can you see? 
Okay, uh, could you please let me know if you're able to see the Excel sheet? Can you see the Excel sheet? No, just the Salesforce. Okay. Now can you see the sheet? Yes. So here in this Excel sheet, first what we have is column. Right? Uh, could you please mute yourself? Okay. So first uh, is column. Okay. And in that particular column, we can enter the data. So here we have first name, last name, email address, and we have entered the data correctly in the correct column. Okay. So exactly like this in Salesforce, we also have column. Can you see my Salesforce screen? Yes, we can see. Okay. So here we have column exactly like Salesforce. Okay. Here we have tabs. These are different different tabs. Okay. Here we have rows. These are all considered as rows and these are columns. Okay, so what happens? How rows, how we can create a row in Salesforce? Okay, so when you enter any information for that particular column, okay, we can create a row. So in Salesforce language, column, okay, we call column as fields and row as records okay so in salesforce language these are all fields and when we enter any data for any particular field okay we can create a record in salesforce okay this is the first record this is the second record in salesforce we can also sort and filter and search okay just like spreadsheet so let's say that in spreadsheet we have 100 rows okay and we want to uh, see any specific rows so we have a search function here right if i do like this control f and find anything i can find it okay so exactly like that in salesforce as well we have search function okay can you see this search leads and more here can you see this? This is a global search. Okay, we call in Salesforce. So here, let's say that uh, right now you are working in Salesforce. You have thousands of fields open, and you the and you know the exact name. For example, okay. So it will automatically search for us and it will show us even if it does not show you can just click on enter and then it will show the results so in salesforce we also have search functionalities just like spreadsheet and also this is very cleanly organized right and we can also click on any particular record and we can drill down into it. So we can see further information of the particular record. For example, I want to open this record, okay? If I directly click here, then it will gonna open on the same tab. I want to open it in the new tab. So that's the reason I clicked on right button. Now you can see. I can open any record in Salesforce and I can view the detailed information of that particular record. So here, what information we can see? Name, company, state code, right? Email, lead status, created date, and these are owner alias. Okay, here we have much more information. Owner name, phone number, name, mobile, company, fax, title, email lead source website industry lead status annual revenue rating number of employees something like that okay so it contains all the information for the specific record okay and here we can manage 
which particular field we want to see on this particular UI. Okay, let's say that I don't want created date field over here. Instead, what I want, I want title field. Okay, so I can remove this created date as well and I can add title field as, as well. Okay, so if you remove the uh, created date that doesn't mean it will going to affect on all these records and created date will you know be deleted no it will be there okay on the page layout here as you can see but here we will not see created date okay we will see instead of title instead of created date okay so also it has many functionalities like we can also see the history, full history of its editing. For example, we have a feature called history tracking. Okay. If we enable that feature in Salesforce, okay, let's say for a phone number or email address, okay, or lead status or industry. So we can see who has, you know, changed the phone number. Okay. Or what is what was the old value what is the new value who has changed it and the exact date and time as well so that we can see the full history of its editing okay we can customize the salesforce or based on our business requirement in uh, so as i uh, said earlier okay in salesforce Fields means, uh, sorry, um, column, we can call it as fields. Rows, we call it as um, records. And uh, table, okay, now as you can see here, this is a table, okay. Uh, so in spreadsheet, we call it as table, this particular is table. But in Salesforce language, we call it as objects, okay. So from now on, whenever you will work on Salesforce developer R, you will always refer these are as objects. Okay. Opportunity is opportunity is a table. Lead is a different table. Task is a different table. Account is a different table. Okay. But we can call it as objects in Salesforce. So you also call it as object. Okay. We can always add new column over here now we have these many fields okay and we want to add another two fields over here we can do that okay let's say that there is no need of number of employee field on the page layout okay there is no use of this particular field so we can hide it from the users as well let's say that we have a title field which is very sensitive and we do not want to show it to all the users okay the previous example and we only want to show it to the manager and team group. so we can hide it for the users as well okay even if the field will be on the page layout okay only the manager and team lead will have access to the field other users won't be able to view this particular field that means we have a very strong security model in the Salesforce, which we can use, okay? And using that, we can create and give access to those who actually need it, okay? Okay, just a minute. Okay. Now, these are all, um, you know, tables which Salesforce automatically creates for each and every organization. Okay. Now, let's say that uh, our business requirement is different. Okay. And we cannot use these uh, tables or objects in Salesforce. So, what we can do? We can always create a custom object, a custom table in our salesforce or okay and we can also create relationship between different objects right now let's say lead and account 
we do not have any object okay so we can create relationship between lead and account let's say that we have created some custom object okay custom object and this is a standard object so we can also create a relationship between custom and standard object we are going to see how we can create relationship we are going to see each and everything this is just an overview what we can do in salesforce okay and the important thing is we can also create some automations in salesforce for example we want to send whenever the lead will come in the system okay and lead have a valid email address okay what we want is we want to send an acknowledgement email to the lead that we have received this this particular lead or let's say thank you or for showing interest in our product something like that okay automatically which should take the name first name of that particular lead automatically so we can do this in salesforce okay there is no need for all the salesforce to type and manually send the email again and again for the same template okay we can create a template in salesforce and uh, we can create a automation and automation will run okay and it will send an email to all the leads automatically so basically meaning that we can customize it without writing a single code or line okay and we can do all of these things any questions any doubt here no okay yeah so whichever uh, functionality i have explained you in the overview we are going to see each and everything in detail okay so don't worry about it. now everyone has their uh, developer login right ashwini did you create it yesterday and were able to access it right hello ashwini can you hear me hello can you hear me ashwin if you are speaking you are on mute i'm not able to hear you okay no problem okay so now today we will create the trailhead for you guys do you have trailhead account no amrapali i don't have okay okay let me stop the screen sharing so trailhead is basically uh, you know this is provided by salesforce okay and in trailhead we have series of online tutorials okay so there you can practice your sales Oh. Okay, so I am going to share one link with you guys. Anyone can share their screen. Okay. Anyone can share this one. Okay. I have shared the link on the chat section, which is trailhead.salesforce.com. You can copy that link and paste it on the browser. Okay. So this is a trailhead link. Okay, and you can. access trailhead using this so you already have a developer um, login right so you can try login in using the login button using your sales developer or credentials
there is a login button right but at the top corner yeah try this okay click on salesforce okay using your same username and password yeah click on login Okay, go back to signing or uh, the same link. Uh, same link, which is trainhead.cc.com. It says that we cannot find uh, these user link. No problem. We will try to sign up. Yeah, sign up, sign up. Click on sign up. Sign up, not login, sign up. Go back, click on the back button. Yeah, click on sign up. Okay, now click on Salesforce. Yeah, click on login. Okay, so this is your uh, profile, you know, so all the information is correct, right? Click on next. Here, enter a company name as Guru School. Job title as administrator. It's Guru Schools, right? So after school. Okay, yeah. yeah. Role name selected as administrator. Okay. Relationship non customer. Yes. Okay. So, have to I check can... this box? Yes. Yes. Okay. Then. Okay, so this is your Trailhead account, okay, and here you can log in using your same username and password for Salesforce, okay. So when you okay. log in, uh, when you click on login, it always shows Salesforce, right? So always use uh, login using Salesforce. So here, as you can see at the top right corner, your name. It shows zero badges and zero points. Okay, so this is your profile. What you can do is here we have a small, small units and modules. Okay, for you know practicing Salesforce, you can complete it. And once you complete one badge or one unit or one module, okay, it will automatically show how many points you have earned. Let's say you have completed uh, what is Salesforce or uh, Salesforce introduction um you need here okay and then after that uh it will ask you some questions okay and based on your answer it will give you some points so let's say that that particular exam is for 10 uh, sorry 100 marks okay 100 points and you and there is uh four questions for example or three questions so from two questions sorry from three questions you have answered two questions correct and one is wrong then it will uh, show you points as 50 okay because the first time when you give all the answers correct salesforce will give you 100 point if you have you know given any wrong answer then it will cut down to 50 and after that it will further cut down to 25 okay so based on your answers you will earn points here Okay, now here. Hello. Um, yes. Can you listen me? Ashwini here. Yes. Okay. Yes, Ashwini. Yes. So, uh, actually, I opened my Salesforce page. Mm -hmm. So, 
where I need to go. So uh, you uh, send that link in the chat. So I type that link or paste it in the Google or in that Salesforce uh, homepage. In the Google, Google. you can uh, right now you can see the steps of there later on you can follow it. Okay, okay, thank you. So I was saying, yeah. Uh, could you please uh, click on learn, Sarah? Yeah. What should I click on? There are different different tabs, right? Today, learn. Yeah. Yes, learn. yes. Which so one? Learn. Can, yeah, that is good. Here you can see we have different different options. So here we have modules as well. Okay. So click on modules. Now here you will see all the modules is the right side first one okay all the modules in salesforce okay which we do not want okay because this will be for different different uh, cloud as well so you can give the uh, search result for example product is sales okay level should be beginner role is administrator okay and based on that it will filter the modules for you and you can complete and also uh, right now we are you know just in theory so when we will start with the practicals we will also share trailhead links with you guys for your practice okay so yeah. you can close this trailhead and again try to log in back just to make sure that you are able to access it Okay, login. Click on login. Sorry. First time it should be signed. Yeah. And yeah. After that, you can. Sorry. Yeah. Click login and sessions. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, good. You are able to access it. Skip for now. Okay, uh, there is one more thing. Uh, could you please click on your profile? That of the Sorry. icon on the right corner where you can add your profile picture. Uh -huh. Click on that. Okay. Click on profile or setting. Settings. Mm -hmm. I think we need to connect your account inside. Click on connected account. Okay, it is already connected. Great. Okay. Yeah. You can close this. And you can stop the screen sharing as well. Okay. Let me share this. Let me know if you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the next topic is company information in Salesforce. Company information provides some information about your organization. Okay. Or when company is created, we can see their information. Okay, so in order to go to the company information or any settings in Salesforce, you will always have to go to the setup. Okay, so how you can access Salesforce? Uh, company information. So you will have to click on setup here in the big find box. This is a global search. Okay. This is a global search and this is a big find box. 
never confuse between these two search boxes okay using this quick find box in the setup we can search for settings okay and using this search box which is a global search here we can search for records any record in the system okay so here type in company information Okay. Now we are on the company information page. Here we can see the information about our organization. For example, what is organization name? What is the address? Okay. So here address. Then we have default local, default time zone. Okay. We have also organization edition. What is our Salesforce organization ID? Okay, what is the instant? So let's say that you are working on a production arm. Okay, and there are some issues in your arm, and you want to create a ticket with Salesforce support. You want to create a case with Salesforce support. Okay, so when you will create a ticket, okay, you will have to give this particular Salesforce organization ID so that they can view your organization and their settings okay so this is very important facebook organization id we can also see if we scroll down we can also see user licenses how many user licenses we have for example this is a facebook license okay first one is salesforce license okay and salesforce give in developer of by default two licenses okay meaning that two free licenses otherwise for production or company has to uh, purchase these licenses okay so in developer or we got two free licenses from which one is already in use and why it is in in, in use because my profile is already created, right? My user is already created, which has a Salesforce license to assign to it. Okay, and that is the reason one is used and only one is remaining. So I can create one more user using a Salesforce license. We are going to see how we can create user in Salesforce. In Salesforce. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's say that. Um, you want to change anything over here you want to change the fiscal year or default locale or time zones okay or any information you can always come to the company information okay and edit it and uh, change the information do not click on deactivate all if you click on deactivate all your all will be deactivated or disabled and you won't be able to access it okay even if your uh, username and password is correct. Okay, so do not create or deactivate. If you want to make any changes over here, you can always click on edit, make any changes, and click on save. Okay, so this is the basic information of your organization. Any question, any doubt? No, I'm Rapadi. No. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think that's it for today, guys. Today we have uh, you know, see, um, introduction of Salesforce. Okay. An overview of Salesforce and the company information how we can access it. Okay. In the next class, we are going to see what is objects. Okay, in Salesforce and how we can create it. So, Ashwini, what you can do is you can. Uh, um, um, yes, Amrapali, can you please uh, type in that link in the chat box because I am not able to see it. Is it? That uh, previously I, you. I have already shared the. 
Yeah, but I can't see that. I don't know. Yeah. Can you see right now? Yeah, yeah. Right now I'm seeing it. Yeah. You can copy and paste it. I'm seeing it on your desktop or notepad, something like that. Okay. And yeah. later on, what you can do is you can view this video, today's video, and follow the steps to create the uh, trailhead account. Okay. Yes. So where, where I can find this recording? Uh, it, it will be on the sheet, okay? So uh, Devinder has already given me access, I believe, for the sheet. So there you can find this record. Okay. Any questions? Anyone? No, thank you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Amrapali.